speaking of looking forward, are you looking forward to coaching against Lefty? And I am. You know, I mean, in this business, you, 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 there's a lot of friends out there in the business that you you come across. You don't particularly, you know, I say I, I look forward to the competition. Do I look forward to, um, you know, that battle with him? Not necessarily, just because of, uh, you know, our, our friendship. But, you um, you know, he's going to prepare it, I'm going to prepare, you know. But I do I know this, I think um, Scott's a tremendous football coach. One of the smarter guys that I've been around. Um, extremely knowledgeable, uh, a great, I think a great quarterback coach. Um, I think an outstanding coordinator and, and um, uh, you know, he's got a lot of great ideas. And, and um, you know, I know he's known Steve Adazio for a long time. They worked together at Florida. I think it's a... I hate to, you know, obviously enjoyed working with Scott here, and and uh, we're going to have our hands full, you know, with, with this with this group. But I got a lot of respect for the guy, a great football coach. Do you do you have an insight into him because of that time, and vice versa? Does well, he I'm sure there is a little bit, um, uh, but you know, Scott's they're running BC's offense, you know, and I'm sure, and what I've seen is a little bit of Scott's, you know, wrinkles in it, particularly in the passing game. Uh, I think the run game, I see a lot of, you know, what BC likes to do, and they're playing to their strengths, which is, you know, big big linemen, multiple tight ends, uh, big backs, and uh, you're going to see, a, I think, a lot of that, a lot of pounding and a lot of max protect and take some shots and, and those type of things, you know, which, uh, um, you know, Scott likes to do as well. So, uh, but uh, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a middle drill for 60 minutes as far as I, I think our prep's going to be. And that's how these games have been. They've got a, a lot of respect for BC. Uh, these games have been uh, extremely close over the years. Uh, tight ball games, uh, great battles. And, um, you know, I'm sure Saturday's probably going to be, a, I hope it's going to be the same kind of battle, at least, you know, when, you know, when it's all said and done. BC was so hurt last year. Quarterback, yeah. running back, like six string, it seemed like. They look like a different team. Don't they have some of those guys back? They do. I think they're improved up front. Um, you know, we got three guys back from last year. The you know, experience is, as you've heard me say, is a great teacher. And, and you see those guys playing better. Um, you know, the, the quarterback um, is a guy that has some experience. Even though this is his first year at BC, he started, you know, a couple seasons at Kentucky. So you see a, a guy that's playing is a seasoned veteran. And uh, and then, you know, he's got some talent around him. I think that's the one area that uh, Boston College has improved. I think their skilled kids are have steadily improved over the years. And, um, you know, it's they have some weapons on the outside that we, we've got to account for without a doubt. Tell us what uh, kind of led to the promotion of, of Chung. Was, was Gallo hurt? Was Chung playing better? What, what went into that? Oh, we're trying, you know, you know I'd love to have – Five guys, ten guys, fifteen guys, because I, you know, to, with the tempo and everything, we're gonna have to play more than five. You know, I've made a mistake before of, of five guys playing 102 snaps in a game, and you know, I'd be kidding myself if I told you they were as good in the fourth quarter as they were in the first. Uh, and the competition is always healthy. It's always healthy, and those guys have been going at it. And you know, both of them played in the the first game, and and they both ended up playing another night. Obviously, I think Kyle had some some antsiness to him because that's his first extended play. But he's, he's worked his tail off. He's, you know, he had to come off a, an injury in the spring and, and worked all summer and has had some great practices here. And, and the thing I appreciate about Eric is he comes every day and shows up and, you know, we talk to him and he's going to alternate snaps there. And then, you know, we started first drive. We missed a field goal. And second drive, we scored. And, you know, those guys understand that when we're hot, we're hot. We get to stay, you know. and. I've had guys before that started every game, and we've done this, and, and just get on a roll, and then the next thing you know, they're not back in the fourth quarter. But that competition is healthy, and it's, all, it's ongoing right now. And then, you know, both of them have worked with both quarterbacks, all three quarterbacks. You know, they're all equal number of snaps, and it's a week-to-week -week evaluation right now. Chung, uh, the snaps, I'm assuming that in practice, he was pretty good with those snaps, and that yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Was that a concern for you going in? One hundred sixty thousand. It wasn't because we honestly, the, we practice. We try to make an environment that is makes game days easy, you know. And that, and you know, that was an awesome venue, an awesome crowd, and but we treat that as peripheral. You know, it's more what's in front of us than what's outside. And and uh, 
It wasn't a concern, and, but I did talk to him, so I had to just calm down, and they got better there for a while, and then we had the critical error there at the end, you know, which, you know, gave Gallo an opportunity to come in, so. What have you seen out of Wyatt that has kind of earned him more playing time? He's, Wyatt's day-to-day, -day and he's, he's, and I love Wyatt, I really do, and, and he knows, and he's the first one that'll tell you, you know, he'll have a day where he's focused and on point, and he'll have a day where he's not, but he's, he is, Gradually, he's getting better every day right now. And I'm excited where he was. And of course, we've got to be smart at all times. You know, we want to be hard, smart, and tough. Well, smart's part of that. And he'll be the first one to tell you that's some silly stuff that is silly penalties, unnecessary. And, you know, one of them was, you know, I ran him for one of them. So, <laughs> anyway, but he, he's continuing to work. And, and, uh, and again, Colt, he shows up every day. He's a, he's a warrior mentality guy. And that's, again, I, if I can create competition, or, but that is competition right there, and they both understand it, and they both work with the ones and the two. <coughs> is it more of a mental thing with Wyatt? I guess it's where he's like, maybe got something nah, blocked. It's not just, let him do it every time. He's a 20 year old, 21 year old kid, and, and but he's got all the talent in the world, and, and it's important to him. And uh, he is getting better every day. No, I wouldn't say it's mental at all. No, he's just focus, and that's my job, keeping focus. It seems like a lot of the rotation is on the interior. Have you been pleased with the tackles? The, uh, the tackles uh, have done well, they, and that's that's a little bit different than the inside. You know, I hate putting guys cold. You know, the last thing we played, they had some talented guys that are on the edge, and and I'd hate to put a guy in cold just unless I had to. But you know, John and and, and Nigel out there have been. They've rated highest on everything they've done so far. Go back and watch that almost touchdown in the first place. <laughs> what do you see? Uh, opportunity. That uh, was opportunity out there, but um, uh, at the same time, uh, Gerard gave me a chance, and uh, I got to try to come down with it however I can. Liberty kind of stacked the line and said, all right, go ahead and throw it. And you guys had a big game passing it. Tennessee sort of flipped that game plan. Um, is that just? Do you have a sense going into a game of what someone's going to do, or do you just assume every week one's going to pick one or the other? I mean, uh, we usually have a really good game plan going into the game and uh, have a great feel for what they're going to do. Um, but uh, Tennessee did throw, throw a couple things at us. Um, but I still feel like if we executed it, um, then we, uh, if we executed our game plan, then we, we had no, no problems at all. But um, it's just lack of execution. What did they do to limit them, the production? It was, it was just you guys, or did they do things to limit the production for you and Bucky? Um, they showed us a couple of different looks, uh, different leverages, and, uh, different shades and brackets and things like that. They did a, they did a good job executing their game plan as well, so give them some credit. How much of an emphasis has ball security been so far this week? <laughs> uh, huge, huge emphasis. Uh, Everyone's running around. Coach Fuente's even running around trying to knock the ball out of your hands when you're running. So uh, the ball security has been a huge emphasis in, uh, in, in practice. Yeah. So is that what's been though? It's just you guys just get hit with the ball? That's Pretty much. It's really by, uh, the scout team are trying to rake the ball out. If you're running by a water boy or one of the coaches, they might try to poke the ball out as well. So uh, Coach Fuente and the rest of the coaching staff has really made a ball security emphasis. Shane used to have the. The boxing that, that thing yeah. hurts, dude. I bet it did. Do you, do you guys have anything no, we, similar we, to like, that at we, all? We have know? some things similar, but nothing, nothing to that, uh, the, that extreme. extreme. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what? So what's the sort of equivalent of that this year? Anything? Uh, no, it's just uh, some some pads, it, a little softer, more cushioned. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if somebody knocks it out? Then you get ripped. <laughs> you get ripped. Uh, Coach Fuente is getting on to you. The leaders on the team are getting on to you, and everyone. So. We just hold each other accountable. Is it a push ups thing or something? Up something downs. Like we do a lot of downs. Have you dropped one this week? Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> what stands out um, for you when you think back to playing for Coach Leffler? What, what stands out in your mind? Uh, he, was a, he was a great coach. Uh, he was a, he's an offensive genius. So he's going to, we know that uh, we have a lot of respect for him here. And uh, we know he's going to have his guys ready and end up to play. Did he? Like, just. Gave me confidence, gave the uh, offense confidence, knowing that we could like move the ball effectively against the SEC, SEC defense. I feel like um, if we eliminate turnovers and penalties, then we can be a really, really good offense. Was it a little bit of a different defensive scheme from them? I know Liberty, we talked about how they 
had so many guys up by the line to stop the run that you guys threw the ball well. Was Tennessee a little more geared on Isaiah and Bucky and opened some things up for you? Um, I honestly don't know. Um, I just focus on my assignment and uh, I just try to execute my assignment as best as to my ability as possible. And Isaiah up here is talking about ball security being a focus yeah. a little bit this week. What, what exactly are they doing? How much more is it than in the past? Um, we just do boss a lot of ball security, uh, like uh, periods and stuff like that, to really emphasize like protecting the ball, uh, making sure the ball doesn't get on the ground. And this week we're we're focused on having the ball in double a lot. Uh, against Tennessee, we didn't have the ball in double a lot, and we're trying to focus on getting that second hand over top of the ball to protect the ball. So if we uh, can eliminate turnovers, that could be um, a big boost for our offense, definitely. Do you get a sense that because of all those turnovers, you guys really left something on the field out there against Venice, and you guys really had a chance to you need know, to play a lot better? Yeah, definitely. If, if you turn the ball over that many times, you're not going to have a chance to win a ball game. So if we eliminate those turnovers, we're probably in the ball game still. So, As I said, that coach will try to knock the ball out of their hands. Water boys will try to knock. Is, it, is that the thing that everybody <laughs> yeah. has a chance to knock it out this week? Yeah, definitely. Uh, scout guys are doing a great job trying to get it out as well. So. Um, we're just really trying to emphasize just protecting the ball. Have you lost one yet this week? Uh, <laughs> <I'm not. laughs>